Hello and welcome back to Geospatial Analysis, your go-to place for remote sensing, Google Earth Engine, and impactful geospatial solutions. Today, we're diving into a hybrid soil salinity mapping tutorial, where we combine Sentinel-2 and Sentinel-1 data to detect salinity zones for a selected agricultural area. Whether you're a researcher, student, or environmental analyst, this tutorial is for you. Let's get started, step by step. Step 1, define area and date range. First, define the area of interest and in your study period. We'll use data from April 15th to May 15th, 2025, which reflects peak soil exposure in many dryland regions. Step 2. Compute Soil Salinity Index, SI, using Sentinel-2. We now load cloud-free Sentinel-2 data and calculate a proxy salinity index, using the SWIR and NIR bands. This index helps us detect salt-affected soil areas based on reflectance behavior. What is Soil Salinity Index, SI? The SI is typically derived from SWIR and NIR bands, where saline soils show distinct spectral responses due to their moisture and salt crust characteristics. High salinity tends to reflect more in SWIR and less in NIR, which we capture using this normalized difference. Why it matters Soil salinity affects crop yield, soil fertility, and land degradation making it essential for sustainable agriculture, irrigation management, and land restoration. SI-based maps are used by Agricultural planners Environmental consultants Remote sensing researchers NGOs working on food security and land rehabilitation Step 3, Load Sentinel, 1VV Backscatter Let's bring in radar data Sentinel-1 can penetrate clouds and gives us moisture-related information, a perfect complement to optical imagery. Step 4. Normalize both layers. We now scale both indicators to the same range to combine them meaningfully. Step 5. Create a hybrid salinity index. Let's blend the two sources using weighted averages. You can adjust the weights to your context. Step 6. Visualize and classify into salinity zones. Let's turn the index into interpretable zones and map it. Step 7. Add a beautiful legend. Legends make maps more readable, especially when shared. Let's create one with clear color labels. Step 8. Export your result. Finally, let's export the hybrid map for offline use. That's it. You've just built a hybrid soil salinity detection system using open satellite data and Earth Engine, fully automated and ready to scale. Don't forget to like, share, and comment your results or questions below. 
Subscribe to the channel for more powerful GEE projects and remote sensing tutorials, because you're not just learning code, you're solving real-world problems. Stay curious, stay empowered, and I'll see you in the next video.